If you saw my last tutorial on how to get Sonic 06 to work on Xenia, it was probably a very uh, strange or complicated way of how to do it, and it was just kind of buggy for a lot of people, and just a lot of things just didn't work. This tutorial is much more updated with things, it is much easier to get to run, and there's a lot more things you can actually do with the game to make it work. And so let's get started. The first thing you're going to need is the ISO of the game. I cannot link this anywhere, I apologize for that. You're going to have to find that in Google somewhere. It is not hard to find, just look it up with the ISO, you'll probably find it. But yeah, when, my last tutorial for it, you would have to use Xbox Image Browser to actually get the game to work by adding a few patches into the files. You no longer need to do any of that. You just open up with Xenia, and I will also link Xenia in the description. And with this new build, you kind of just run it, hit open, and it runs just like that. No buggy uh, errors or anything. You just get the game. But there is one thing I'm going to show off though. The hub world for the town can be a bit laggy as you can see. It, can also, it also doesn't help the fact that I'm, that I'm recording. You can, get the, you can get it kind of stable by having the camera down, but that gets kind of annoying. But to fix this lag issue, I'm going to show off how to do that now. So let me close the game. This is where the mod manager comes in. So we're gonna, I'm also going to link that in the description. So we're going to drag that in here. Open that. I'm going to give it a second to load to boot everything up. I'm going to say the mod directory can't do anything because there's no mods folder. You don't really need that right now. But if you wanted to, you'd just make a folder in here and I think that would just make the issue go away. Uh, to get the things to work properly, you're going to want... These are the settings I use to make it work along with these advanced patches by putting it on optimized and reflections are disabled. Those tend to help me get the game to work well. Anything else is kind of just optional if it works for you. If it doesn't, I can't really do anything about that. Another thing is that the stability of this game will vary based on your hardware. I have a GTX 1060 and an i7. Uh, I forget what kind of i7. But those are pretty much the settings to get the game to run perfectly fine. Again, this is only a patch that shows up for something that fixes just one thing in the hub world. Everything else just runs tends to run perfectly fine. But besides that, uh, everything else just like it runs very well and I'll show that off now. That is not what I wanted to open. Also fun fact, F11 is the full screen option for Xenia, just like everything else. <laughs> The hub world will probably still lag a bit because of the fact I'm recording at such a high bitrate and quality. But again, just have the camera in bird's eye view, and that kind of fix that kind of fixes that. Everything else runs perfectly fine, though. Yeah, it's still a bit laggy, but just doing this kind of fixes it. But that's just for that. If you have that very obvious specific issue, now let me show a stage that runs perfectly fine. I went back into the game. Let's just go to a stage. Let's go to Crisis City. And as you can see, the game is running perfectly fine. And yeah, that's pretty much the tutorial on how to get Sonic to Quirk on Xenia. If you have questions, ask me on Twitter. Uh, it's a lot more convenient way to be able to get a hold of me. Anything else? Uh, I guess leave a comment if you want. But if you want your answer answered, question answered quicker, probably just tweet at me and it'll probably be a lot easier. And uh, yeah, that was my tutorial for this, and thanks for watching.